You there, you're the Shopify entrepreneur, right? Are you looking for a way to drive traffic to your store without breaking the bank on paid advertising? Well, look no further, because in this video, we're gonna go over the power of blogging. So stay tuned so you can find out about some of the best Shopify blogs out there so you can learn their strategies and maybe try and get some of that success. I mean, imagine what your bottom line would look like with an additional 1,000, 10,000, or heck, even 100,000 relevant visitors to your store each month. That's right, I recommend that you get ready to take your blogging game to the next level. And now would be a great time to subscribe before we go ahead and jump in. You ready? Let's kick this off with some examples from our favorite Shopify blogs. Quick little disclaimer, all of the data provided from the examples have been taken from Arif's, so it's really just our best estimate, but it will still absolutely highlight the power of blogging for e-commerce. And that brings us to number one. Do keyword research to reach more customers with an estimated monthly blog traffic of 246,000 and an estimated traffic value of $208,000, Beard Brand is a true master of marketing. One thing they do extremely well is write in a way that appeals to their specific target audience instead of trying to appeal to everyone. This allows them to focus their efforts on driving engagement for those most likely to buy from them. By using the right keywords, they managed to snag the top spots on Google for search terms like beard oil versus beard bomb or stages of beard growth. Plus, did you notice how clean and organized their site looks? Definitely something that you can recreate on Shopify. Next, let's take a look at Gymshark. The thing that these guys absolutely do best is prioritize helpful articles over product promotion. That means they're providing loads of information on just about every aspect of fitness and training without any hard selling. They're just providing their readers with added value. Even though at this stage in content marketing, many of the readers aren't quite ready to make a purchase, Gymshark has still done an excellent job at raising brand awareness. So you might want to consider how you can provide similarly useful information to your customers. Time to take a look at the farmer's dog. We all love our furry friends and we want to know how best to take care of them, which more often than not means turning to, you guessed it, Google. Pet food retailer The Farmer's Dog uses their blog Digest to help dog owners get information they might need. Obviously, having adorable dog pictures will always be good for business. By providing readers with authoritative blog posts, reviewed by veterinarians, no less, they built themselves a reputation for being a trustworthy brand within the pet food industry, which will certainly lead to conversions. Let's take a look at the Maiden Cookware blog. The more expensive an item is to buy, chances are the more questions you're going to have before you buy it. Since most of us don't have a professional chef, on hand, we turned to the internet for our questions. The Made In blog made sure to have answers to those questions from professionals. This blog is a great example for how to drive organic traffic to your store, but also how to build a relationship with existing customers. They don't just sell pots and pans. They have a lot more to say, and they want to share that with the world through tutorials, recipes, interviews, care tips, you name it. The next thing to keep in mind for your blog is that it should be used as an extension of your brand's voice. Muse, a biofeedback company, uses its blog to attract people interested in meditation. That way they can showcase their expertise and back up their product's benefits. Notice how their blog has a very clean and minimalist design. It creates a sense of peace, but also manages to still feel sciency. That's not an accident. Their visual design gives the readers a sense of the feelings that they want their products to evoke. As you've probably noticed from the stats above, blogging is a great way to drive traffic to your Shopify store. But most of the time, people just go about it the wrong way. Unless you're lucky, you can't simply pick topics out of the air, write about them, and watch your traffic grow. Instead, you need to follow a proven and repeatable approach. That's why we'll be showing you the content marketing strategy behind these Shopify blogs, so you can use the strategy to grow your organic traffic. 
The first step in creating a successful blog on Shopify is to brainstorm a list of seed keywords. These are topics that you think will interest your customers. For example, if you're in the business of selling gym apparel, some seed keywords could be chest workout, shoulder workout, back workout, leg workout, arm workout, workout nutrition, workout recovery, cardio training, and weight training. If you're unsure what kind of topics might interest your customers, browsing relevant subreddits or popular questions on Quora can be a great place to get inspiration. Once you have a decent set of seed keywords, it's time to use a keyword tool like Arif's or Uber Suggest. These tools will help you find a vast collection of keywords that you can write content about. Yes, these tools do cost money, but if you're serious about growing your organic traffic, it's an investment that's worth every cent. Uber Suggest also offers a limited version for up to three free searches a day. Now you need to find the keywords worth writing blog posts about. So, so find the keywords that have the highest amount of people searching for them that also have the lowest amount of competition. In Arif, you can use the filters for keyword difficulty and search volume to narrow your search. Here you can see several blog post ideas that have high monthly search volume, but not a ton of competition. Uber Suggest isn't quite as detailed, but you can still certainly find inspiration there. In the fourth step of creating a successful blog on Shopify, it's crucial to understand the search intent behind each keyword. That's because not every keyword generated by these tools will be valuable. Take the term Reddit bodybuilding, for example. People searching for this term are probably trying to navigate to the bodybuilding subreddit, so it probably isn't relevant to your blog. On the other hand, keywords like at-home shoulder workout suggest that people are looking for information on how they can train at home. That represents an opportunity for you to provide them with helpful information while introducing them to your brand. Usually, good old-fashioned common sense is enough for understanding search intent, but if you're unsure, you can always go ahead and look at the top 10 Google search results to help you decide. Now that you've created a list of high volume, high relevance, and low competition keywords, it's time to turn them into blog topics and organize them on a content calendar. One easy way to find additional related keywords to your blog post is to type your main keyword into Google and then scroll down to the bottom of the page to see what Google suggests as related searches. These keywords can be used to outline your article with headings and subheadings. Just make sure they fit naturally and flow well with your content. Once your outline is complete, all that's left to do is write your posts. If writing isn't really your strong suit, you can always hire qualified freelancers on sites like Upwork, Fiverr, ProBlogger, Jobboard, Contently, or writer access. One thing to keep in mind when looking for writers is that usually you get what you pay for. Since high quality blog content is essential for ranking on Google, you might want to invest in a good writer. The final step in creating a money-making blog is to get backlinks. Backlinks are links to your website from other websites that signal to Google that your blog is valuable and trustworthy. The more authoritative the website that links to you, the better it is for your rankings. All of the Shopify blog examples from before have a solid amount of backlinks leading to their site. And since you're targeting low competition keywords, you won't even need a ton of backlinks before your site starts to rank. There's a lot of way to get backlinks, but here are some of the easiest ways. You can guest post on other blogs, go ahead and reach out to other bloggers in your niche and ask if you can do a guest post on their blog. That way you can link to your blog from them. Backlink. If you mentioned anyone in your post, you might as well reach out to them. Maybe they're willing to give you a backlink. Also, feel free to strategically mention influencers in your blog posts and then, you know, tell them about it. It could lead to them linking to your content or, you know, sharing it with their followers. Speaking of, sharing posts on social media or email is a great way to spread the word. It can also drive traffic and increase the chances of people linking back to it or sharing. You can also participate in expert roundups. You can use platforms like Help a Reporter Out to connect with journalists and bloggers where you share your expertise in exchange for a link. As you can see, there's no one way to go about building backlinks. So using a variety of techniques is really the best approach. I would start with some of the tactics we just mentioned and see what works for your blog best over time. Now that you understand how blogging for your e-commerce store has 
huge potential. We hope that the tips and tactics outlined in this video will help you attract organic traffic, build your brand, boost your list, and drive real revenue. As we've seen, the Shopify blog examples we looked at come from a diverse range of niches and backgrounds, but they all have one thing in common. They don't begin by thinking about topics to write about. Instead, they research what their audience is interested in reading, and then they write posts based on keyword data. Your blog will still have unique elements when it comes to tone and design, but when it comes to content, the key is to reverse engineer your posts so that they match the search demand so that you can rank high on the charts. That's it for now, but stay tuned for more digital marketing content coming your way.